Hello and welcome to the next video of our virtual lab Practical Hope. In this video we will solve Schrodinger equation for hydrogen atom in coulomb potential using ODE function. We are taking radial part of the Schrodinger equation for L equal to 0. So this is a Schrodinger equation and coulomb potential is given by V equal to minus E square by R. These are the values of the constants and we are going to find the energy of the ground state and first excited state along with the corresponding wave function. To solve any second order differential equation, we first have to convert it into two different first order differential equations by changing the variables. This has been explained in our earlier video in detail. So I recommend that you watch my previous video on how to solve first and second order differential equation. You can find the detail of that video in the description box. But for continuation, let's have a quick look of it here also. Now this is the differential equation, which can also be written like this. Let x1 is equal to u and x2 equal to u prime or first derivative of u with respect to r. So, by the following modifications, we can have two first order differential equations. Now, to solve a second order differential equation, we require one point condition. That is, the value of u and u prime should be specified at some value of r, say 0. However, Schrodinger equation has to be solved under two point boundary conditions. That is, u should be 0 at both r equal to 0 and r equal to infinity. Hence both conditions should be satisfied to get the energy eigenvalues and the corresponding eigenfunctions. r cannot be 0 since uh, coulomb potential will become infinite at that point. So first choose an arbitrary value of energy E and solve the Schrodinger equation under the conditions at r equals to 0 0.01 u should be 0 0.01 and u prime equal to 1 u prime is chosen to be 1 a different value will only change the scale of the wave function so first choose an arbitrary value of energy e and solve the schrodinger equation suppose we start with energy minus 10 electron volt if we plot the solution we get something like this for large values of r wave function is approaching minus infinity now we have to choose another value of energy for which wave function should approach plus infinity. At uh, minus 16 electron volt solution is approaching plus infinity. So our energy eigenvalue lie between these two values. We just have to narrow down this range. Now we take E3 as the average of E1 and E2. That is minus 13 electron volt. For E3 the solution is approaching minus infinity. So we replace E1 by E3. Otherwise we would have replaced E2 by E3. So now E1 becomes minus 13 electron volt. Now the solution lies between minus 13 and minus 16 electron volt. Again we have to take the average. Now E3 will be minus 14.5 electron volt at which solution is approaching plus infinity. So now E2 should be replaced by new value of E3. This we are going to do a number of times. Now in programming it is very simple to do this. We will take some uh, suitable range of r, evaluate the last value of uh, u1, u2, u3 that is the wave functions for different values of energy. Then we use this condition that if u1 dot u3 is negative then replace e2 by e3 else replace e1 by e3. Finally after doing all this we will get the final solution. The curve will eventually approach minus or plus infinity, but uh, it has been stabilized for some range of r. This value of E3 will be the energy eigen value. Now let's implement it in Scilab. This time we are using version 6.1.0. Open Scinotes. Before starting the program, I want to mention that Default color of the variables, strings, numbers, etc. that we are going to write in the sign notes window have been changed for better contrast. 
you can do the same select options preferences then set colors here you can select different items from this menu like we have selected a string and change its color you can also change the font size of the console and sign outs window from here let's start now clear clc and clf are to clear the variables console area and reset the figure properties respectively first define the function for differential equations f is the name of the function r and x are the variables and e is the energy that we are going to vary then define the constants next write the two first order differential equations as already discussed and are also shown on left now even is the trial energy that the program will ask for when we will execute it so it's a kind of input that we are going to give and its uh, format is this even equal to input bracket within quotation enter guess for energy next we have to set the range of r for which we are going to solve differential equation r min cannot be zero since uh, coulomb potential will become infinite at that point so it's uh, set to 0.01 r max is 20 and uh, step size h is set to 0.01 so r will vary from r min to r max with h as step size Now this is the format for solving the differential equation for energy even using ODE function. List function has been used so that we can use same function f for different values of energy. We don't need to give the value of energy inside the function every time. Let the solution for energy even is u1. Now let's plot r with the first row of u1 which is the solution of the differential equation. Set the line width of the graph to value say 10. Now run the program. Save it first. So it's uh, asking for the energy. Let's first give a value minus 50. So the graph is approaching plus infinity. Again run the program and give the value minus 30. Again, it's going to plus infinity. Again, run it for uh, minus 20 and it's again going to plus infinity. Now set the value to minus 10. Now the curve is moving towards minus infinity. Sign has been changed from plus to minus infinity by changing energy from minus 20 to minus 10 electron volt so ground state energy is somewhere between minus 10 and minus 20 electron volt again run the program for value minus 5 it's going to minus infinity so no change of sign if you give the value minus 2 it's again going to plus infinity since the graph is uh, changing sign so First excited state lies between minus 2 and minus 5. Finally, if we give the value minus 1 and press enter, it's again changing sign and going to minus infinity. So, second excited state lies between minus 2 and minus 1 electron volt. Now we know the range of energy. Let's complete the program. Set even as the first guess 
and E2 as the second guess for energy. So now the program will ask for the range of energy. Solve the differential equation using ODE function with energy E2 also and uh, denote the result as U2. As discussed earlier, we have to take the average of E1 and E2. Now again solve the differential equation with energy E3. Next we have to test the sign of the product of last value of U1 and U3 also shown on the left. Now R max is 20 and H is 0 0.01. So there will be 2000 columns in vector R. So U1, U2 and U3 must also have 2000 columns. So the last value of uh, U1, U2 or U3 will be at 2000 column of first row. So it's written U1 bracket 1 comma 2000. 1 denotes row, 2000 denotes column. Now if the sign is negative then E2 should be replaced else even should be replaced by E3. Right end. Now these highlighted statements should be executed several times using a loop to get the final result. To set the loop for or do while anything can be used but here we are going to use for loop. Do while condition we will use in our next video. We are going to run the loop for say 100 times from 1 to 100 using i variable. Put the selected statements within for loop except plot because uh, we don't want to plot 100 times. We will only plot once after getting the final result. Finally display the eigenvalue using disp function. Change uh, u1 to u3 in plot. Also put labels to the figure. We forgot to display the value of E3 at line 22. So let's put it OK. Now run the program. Give first energy guess minus 20 and second guess minus 10 and press enter. Minus 20 to minus 10 is the range for ground state as evaluated earlier. So the energy of the ground state comes out to be minus 13.595599. Size of these uh, labels and numbers are not uh, visible. Select edit, access properties and increase this uh, font size of x label. Select y axis and increase the size of y label also. Select style and increase the font size from here and uh, thickness from here. Run the program again. This time we'll give the range for the first excited state. So even minus 5 and E2 as minus 2. Press enter. So minus 3.4011809 is the energy of the first excited state. We can change the font size of the labels and numbers for the curve as we did earlier. In the second part of this video, we are going to use the same program and solve Schrodinger equation for different potentials. If you like this video, share it with your friends and colleagues and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel if you haven't done it yet. Also visit our Facebook page, the link of which is provided in the description box.